Hello guys and welcome to Klaus Gaming. Today we're going to take a quick look at Satellite Rain. The only thing I've done in this game so far is set the graphics settings to ultra and turn down the music volume and sound volume a little bit. So uh, let's get started. Let's create a new user. Klaus Gaming. And this game was just released on Steam. It's been in early access for a while, but I never played the uh, early access version, but this is the full release version. So I think this logo looks pretty neat. So let's pick the red color. Initialize connection. So here we're getting the intro. So I'll uh, keep quiet during the intro. Cybernetics pioneer Dracogenics is making headlines with what they're calling instant consciousness transferal technology. But many are already referring to it as resurrection. Investors are scrambling for a piece of Dracogenics. The list of wealthy donors has increased with celebrities and politicians from around the world jumping on board. The Restech satellite network has expanded globally, making Dracogenics a household name Allegations overnight. Allegations swirling today as rivals accuse Dracogenics of trading immortality for political influence. Federal authorities are to civil unrest today following the privatization of city services. Dracogenic security forces clashed with rioters all through the night. Dracogenic CEO Stephen Dangler was exonerated today as the newly appointed judge dismissed the charges, calling them, quote, frivolous and unfounded. Dracogenics have nobly provided their own private security force to assist in subduing the last stubborn holdouts of the city's poor and desperate. They announced the offenders are safely confined to the lower levels of the city where the conflict... Zangler responded today to claims of a new threat from a shadowy corporate rival. Answering a call to action from stockholders, Mr. Dangler denied rumors of Restex secrets being stolen in an act of corporate espionage. And just in, we're hearing that city police have apprehended a suspect related to the wave of recent anti-dracogenics attacks. City security forces have the suspect now in custody after a gunfight with police that left several... <laughs> Okay, comms are a go. Hi, I'm your company contact, providing mission intel and support. Call me Tag. I'll supply data to assist with side jobs. But remember our overall mission here, breaking Dengler's monopoly on ResTech and taking the authority and power it gives him. We're running a ResTech system ourselves, but it's flaky as hell. Its range is limited to our relay beacons and there are no long-term backups. So if you lose an agent, don't wait all day before hitting upload. It's not perfect, but it might just give us the edge we need. We've re-established a signal with one of our agents, but the others are scattered, so the first thing we need to do is to reassemble the team. Voice comms will be minimal for most of the op. Communications are heavily monitored in the city, so encrypted text is our most secure way of keeping in touch. I'll open up voice channels again when necessary. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Tag out. Alright, so we're in the tutorial here. Um, how about a sprint command? Be aware, spending will drain energy as displayed in the yellow bar. Okay, so we double tap the right mouse button and a little agent here will sprint. So let's sprint to cover. Click the weapon button to reveal the fo uh, foldout. That's this one a little here. Select the weapon from the foldout. So we have unlimited ammo and the pistol. And we also have an Uzi. So let's select the Uzi. <laughs> nice little mask he has on. Yeah, so we have a guard coming through the door there, I think. I'm just waiting. So this is obviously uh, set in a cyberpunk future. And it uh, plays a little bit like Syndicate, if you're old enough to remember that game. So let's uh, hit the right mouse button on this guy. Take him out with the Uzi. So it's a real-time game. It's not turn-based. So now they're just doing it out until one of them dies. Press space to toggle. Ah, okay. Looks like the door is locked. You can try to open it by using the terminal. There's a terminal over there. Right click on that. So I guess we're hacking it now. Little binary numbers there. So now the door screen so we can move through. There's also something here that the guard dropped. Let's check that out. Yeah, we picked up some ammo. Ah, 
it turned red again, so we have to move quickly. So let's hack it again. And then double click in here to make him run. Alright, so now we made it through. Move to cover. Stay out of sight of the camera. There's a camera over there. Try not to shoot out cameras. If you want to avoid attention, someone will be sent out to investigate what's gone wrong. Okay. So let's just move past the camera without shooting it. Okay, this looks like a good spot to deploy one of our relay beacons. Relay beacons serve as a connection point to upload your consciousness if an agent dies in the field. Once we have all our systems back up and running again, they will also let you re-equip your agents. Okay, so that's just a save point. So let's tap into that. So now we have another agent. We can switch to the other agent by pressing uh, the second key. Or we can select all of them by clicking and dragging. There's something over here. Let's de disable the security system. Yeah, it's also a security system right here. Let's do that as well. Now we can move through the door. Another patrol, you could take him out. Let's attempt to slip past him instead. Stick to cover to avoid being seen. Okay. So just uh, moving along the, the cover here. I guess it's half cover. So just waiting for... Ah, I guess we can hide here. Still not be seen. So when he turns around, we can make it past. Might be more fun to just take him out, actually. Let's do that. Alright, so... <laughs> we took him out anyway. Let's just grab this ammo. Move on. message up here. Stealth. Enemies can be alerted to your presence by sound or sight. Agents be out of sight if they are in cover. On the opposite side to an enemy. Enemies will move to the last place your agent was spotted if they lose sight of you. Weapons and explosions draw the attention of enemies. Enemies will investigate suspicious sounds regardless of visual blockers. Alright, that's fine. Now we're up here. It looks like we are out on the main street now. So we can uh, put away our, our guns. Alright, with your weapons away, you can waltz right through crowds of civilians without causing a panic. There's something different about this terminal up ahead. If you select the terminal, we can see uh, what you'll need to get past. So we need to go up here and interact with this. It looks like this terminal has higher security on it. It requires an agent with level 1 hacker ability, someone like a hacker agent. <laughs> The hacker is inside this complex awaiting extraction. One of the civilians around here should have security access to the complex. We should identify the civilian and bribe them to get our agent out. Use the world scan ability again to identify who has security access to the compound. Okay. So we press Y here, this little icon. Here's a guy we can bribe. So let's go talk to him. So now we have access. Let's move out of the scan mode. Let's just zoom in to take a look at the uh, graphics here. So these are two agents. <laughs> they don't exactly look uh, inconspicuous. But yeah, let's move in. If 
Fantastic. Vi har hacker back. Get the hacker to unlock the door, so we can move on. All right, that was easy. So let's select our hacker here. And he can use the terminal. So now we can hurry through this door before it locks again. So also something over here. Ah, it's a save point. It looks like the hacker managed to find a silencer while waiting for us. There is another spot for a relay beacon up ahead. Let's get it up and running so we can equip our agents. Okay, so we can select loadout here in the main menu. And weapons. We can select this pistol. There's no aug augmentation on it. But we can select the slot. And then we can put the silencer in. Ah, so we have to purchase the silencer here. So now it's attached. Let's see how much money we have up here. None of your agents are equipped to use this zipline yet, but we can still force them to interact with things like ziplines, terminals and hardwire points. It's a risk, but there doesn't seem to be any other way out of here. Okay, so we can press the ALT key and then we can use the zipline. I guess that's a means of fast travel past the map. So here we go. <laughs> so one of our agents uh, fell off. Looks like your hacker has a, had a bad fall. Your agent isn't out of the race yet. Get one of your other agents to get the hacker back on their feet. All right, so we just right click him with this uh, green icon. So he's back up. So move up here, hack this door. And you can see that the health just regenerates on its own. Here's a guard. Hold on, that guard hasn't seen us yet. If you can get an agent up behind him, we can hold Alt and right click to take him out with one shot. All right, use the agent's hut, uh, press Alt plus one to select your silenced pistol. Okay, so we'll move up here, take him out. So I guess I had the whole group selected, so it wasn't exactly silenced. But at least we also hit him with the silenced pistol. Never mind the uh, SMGs and everything else. So let's take cover here. There's a guard up there. There's also one over there. So now I'll just select this guy. And use the uh, silence pistol. Ah, he spotted us, so let's just take him out. Yeah, no big deal. Let's grab his ammo. Here's the other guard. Let's take him out. We should flank him and we'll move one over here. So one of our agents decided to engage in some melee there as well. Well, that was uh, useful. If a little bit dangerous. So now we can attack with this camera. Take it out. More guards. We'll just stand our ground. He should use his SMG here. Actually, uh, they're all using uh, something that they shouldn't. <laughs> they're all shooting pistols. <laughs> they should use the SMGs. Well, good thing it's just a tutorial. So now we can hack this. Move through the last door, I guess. So now we're downtown. All right, systems are starting to come back online. I have mission control back up and running. We are heading deeper into the downtown district. I have a few things I need to you to get done, but it is up to you which ones we tackle first. I want you to set up some relay beacons around the district. And probably most importantly, we have the issue of our captured infiltrator to attend to. I have uh, set up entries for each in the project satellite range dossier. 
check mission control for info so we click up here in the main menu click mission control so here's our current quests so yeah our main target is uh, dragogenics ace up the sleeve rest tech resurrection life after death if you're rich enough and important enough they can save you like a file when your meat body dies they just download you into a new one rich assholes and suits get to live forever poor people lose their bodies to let it happen fed into the process like factory parts you know the rest tech is housed in the heart of dragon uh, dragogenics hq we've got to fight our way there one district at a time, learning everything we can, giving up, finding the secrets and weak points while we arm and armor ourselves. This won't be easy once we've taken the rest tech from them, though it'll be worth it. Okay, so we have to take the rest tech. That's one mission. The other one is a uh, rescue infiltrator. Bad news, our infiltrator's been napped mid-mission with important intel we need to get our hands on. Worst news, the bastards are holding all prisoners in a transmission blocking cell. Without transmission access, there's no way we can just upload and flash clone ourselves a new infiltrator. Looks like we need to hit them with good old prison break tactics. Our infiltrator is on the next transfer list to the CBD prison facility. We need to strike before this happens or worse they just kill our agent. Purchase information, surprise, surprise, we found a dirty cop. If we pony up some cash, he'll spill his guts about a few security blind spots in his uh, holding facility, which could really help us with a little jailbreak. We can purchase that info for $100 and we have lots of cash. We have uh, $1,240, so let's purchase that. So now we get some more info here. Money well spent according to our contact. There's a secondary entrance on the western side of the complex with an unlocked door that's mostly ignored and half as security at best. Okay. So maybe that's what we see here on the map. I actually don't think we uh, we see an overview here. It's just where we are right now. Also, there's some leftover crap from a construction project from a few months back. Heavy cables that never got any electricity pump to them are still anchored to a building on the southern end of the complex and anchored up high. Those would give us a great way over the fence if you've got the right gear if you are just willing to take the risk of a free story drop once we are in things might not be too hard almost any of your agents should be able to manage the rest of the operation and spring you our agent okay so we can activate the ping here and see where that is let's go uh, get the infiltrator so it's right there in the back of the police station so it's time to get moving Oh, here's the relay beacon. We should activate that first so we can uh, respawn here if we fail. So now we're just moving towards where the police station should be. You can also see the ping up here on the minimap. So let's hack this door if we can. Oh, we need to put away all of our guns on the spacebar. Uh, hacker level 2 required, so we can't hack that. So let's just have to uh, get there some other way. So there's a little bridge over the city streets. With very futuristic cars driving around. So I guess they, uh, they capture the cyberpunk setting pretty well. The black annex, oh, there's a strip club over there. Maybe we can go into that. Spend our hard earned dollars after we uh, get the infiltrator out. We're in business. Directly into their hardware. 
Right now, though, we've got to build up our company's presence here, working on getting you all the gear, money, and tech that we'll need to make that final assault. Because I don't think they're going to let us just waltz through the front door. Let's continue towards the police station. Should be down here. Guess we can just run for a little while, spending our stamina. It's not like we need it for anything right now, anyway. So now it's slowly regenerating. There's a door over here that we can actually move through. Might as well just. New message hardwire points. Let's check this. Hardwire points can be used to unlock doors, disable power generators, disable uh, sentry guns, and disable jammers, depending on what they are attached to. Alright, so we can just interact with that. So we can bribe the guard here. Or we can just move through. Nah, let's just hack it. So there we go. Ah, damn it. We're gonna have to fight. <laughs> this is a restricted area. So it's actually the police station already. So now we're just gonna let the uh, SMGs do the talking. We got the camera. There's another cop. Let's take him out as well. There's a guy down there. So this is a fence. Uh, we can move through here. Take out this camera. We need to kill this guy over there. Let's move to a uh, cover here. Let's just run to cover. So he's down. Let's just grab this ammo. So the pink's back here. So we need to move through this door as well. Here we can disable the security system with the hacker. Let's just run through the door. Do not bother with the guard for now. He'll come after us anyway, I think. So this is where they're keeping the uh, infiltrator. So now we have to fight our way back out. Oh, here's the infiltrator, looks like he has a sniper rifle. Grab this ammo. We have to hack this to get the door open. So move quickly through before it locks. Let's just take out the security camera. Alright, let's get out of here. Here's some more guards. Get this door open. I need to hack this terminal over here. So yeah, this became a brute force. Not so much stealth or use of information. But actually I wasn't even sure this was the police department, but it is. The sign's right there, so that was off limits to go in there. So let's just get away from here. Ah, you can actually shoot the cars also, but I don't think that's helpful. Ah, there's a guy following us. I think he gave up. So we need to put away our guns and look inconspicuous again. Let's take a look at the uh, mission objectives here. Alright, so now we have some uh, relay beacons that are marked that we need to uh, activate in the district. There's a couple here. Alright guys, that's the game, Satellite Rain. It was just released on Steam. It's a lot like Syndicate. I put the link in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time.